it's like I've been calling for them fights since I was at 140. If you go all the way back, before I even became undisputed, before I even had a welterweight fight, I was calling out Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, and all those guys, you know what I mean? And once I moved up, everybody was saying, get a belt, get a belt. I get a belt my first fight. Not no tune-up, no nothing. My first fight, I welterweight. Now it's you on the wrong side of the street. I'm not about to be playing these games where right. they say, oh, well, we fight you when we want to fight you. It's on our terms and this and that and that. And it's, it's, it don't work like that with me. Either we're going to fight and that's that. If we're not, that's that. It's cool. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at. That is Terrence Crawford talking about how before he even got to welterweight, before he even got to 147, that he was calling out for the top guys. The same guys that people say that he need to fight or he should fight, or these are the type of names that we want to see on your resume. He has called those people out. Also, the people up under him, you know, the Ortizes, the Boots, he also let them know, hey, I'm down for that too. Both top tier and lower tier, he put them on notice and let them know what he was about, okay? And like he said, Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, that was before his first fight he was calling those guys out. Kind of like the same thing he's doing with Charlo, you know, at 54. It's, it's the same thing. You know, it's the exact same thing. He's not at that weight class. But he's letting you know ahead of time, this is what I plan to do. And there's something you have to say about a man who says something at one point in time and is still saying the same thing years later. Terrence Bud Crawford's situation is nothing but Marvin Hagler all over again. If you know the story of Marvin Hagler, then you know what I'm talking about. This is what's gonna happen to fighters that really want to fight and that are skilled and not afraid of that smoke. It's gonna be hard to get those fights. You know, you're gonna be treated like Hagler. Hagler had the same thing going on. He ain't fought nobody, he ain't fought this. That's because none of them guys wanted to fight him. And he had to fight two for nail for everything that he got in boxing, including the people calling him Marvelin, Marvelous Hagler. You know, matter of fact, he changed his name to Marvelous. You know, just so they can respect him in that manner because the people in boxing didn't want to call him marvelous. Crazy. But this is the treatment of throwback fighters or, or fighters who don't duck nobody or fighters who really want that smoke. That's the biggest contradiction in boxing. People will chastise people who don't fight anybody or claim that they don't fight anybody like Javante Tank Davis. And at the same time, when you got a guy who's calling out the people and who wants the big fights, y'all complain about that too. So truthfully, there is no pleasing the boxing fans because they can't stay on one accord of what they think should be done and how a fighter should act. What's okay for this fighter is not okay for that fighter. Therefore, it creates an unbalance. Therefore, they don't have to stick to these mandatories. They don't have to stick to this best fight in the best. They go ahead and do what they want to do because you guys are not on the same accord on no kind of level. And it's a joke. So therefore, they do what they want. They give us the fights that they want us to have, not the fights that we want to see. That's where we're at right now. I'll always keep reiterating fanboyism, tribalism, uh, double standards, all that you think is cute, you think is fine, is dandy. Yeah, I want to laugh and talk about this boxer. He, 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 he ain't fought nobody. He ain't nobody. He's a bum. Oh, don't talk about my man. He's doing the best that he can. Uh, people don't want to fight him. He don't need to fight that guy. This is where all that stuff comes right back around. And you know who's really affected at the end of the day? Real boxing fans. You are the ones that suffer because the fanboys are getting what they want protection coverage and clout chasing that's all that they care about but the real boxing fans really want to see the matches this is why you're affected because of the whole fanboy era listen we're not going to change these promoters we're not they they've been how they've been since the beginning of time but what always hasn't been the same is this new era of coddling and wrapping their boxer up in 
a wool, a wool blanket, you know? That's what didn't exist. We used to didn't go for no ducking. Everybody used to get called out if they did such a thing. That's not in the era that we live in. This is why they trying to push the YouTube fights because at the end of the day, um, that's what it boils down to. You guys just want to be entertained and you don't really care if authentically somebody really is the best fighter in boxing as long as you can claim it. And that's where we're at right now in boxing. And once again, Terrence Bud Crawford just showing and proving that not only did I call these guys out when I got to 147, I was calling them out and Errol Spence out before 147. You know, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, what are people doing? This person ducking, this person's this, 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 this person's that. But you're gonna see in future videos what I'm talking about, about how the treatment of throwback fighters and fighters who really want to fight will be the worst treated boxers in boxing. And yet when you got people who have this kind of ambition, these are the people that's ridiculed when they don't get the fights that fanboys and tribalism try to keep them away from. But, you know, this is where we're at with it. It is, it is what it is. That's why you can't even get excited about the sport anymore. That's my thoughts on this. Like, comment, subscribe, Bruce Vanamont.